Hi guys, Jogger here with a new video and this video will be more of a discussion video around PvP between Dragonflight and Wrath of the Lich King and I want to discuss why Dragonflight, or at least Retail WoW, is not only negative but there's a lot of positives. I think, and that's maybe a hot take, that PvP is a lot more accessible on Dragonflight or Retail than it ever has been and especially if you are comparing with Wrath of the Lich King. Now, don't click the video away and type in a comment like, Oh, you are Retail Andy. I do play Wrath of the Lich King. I all even make videos about Wrath of the Lich King, although it doesn't get any views because it just doesn't tr have a lot of traffic. I do PvP on Wrath of the Lich King. I do raid on Laf Wrath of the Lich King. And I do also PvP on Retail. I do a lot less raiding on Retail, though. And I must say that... To find a arena partner on retail is just infinitely easier than just on Wrath of the Lich King. Although personal rating is now a thing since Wrath of the Lich King Classic, since it did implement it from TBC. I just feel like finding a arena partner is a lot harder than on Wrath of the Lich King, um, than on Dr Dragonflight or retail in general. I'm going to say why it is harder. But also the gatekeeping that the community is doing is just not really efficient. It doesn't help a lot. I feel like we always play versus the same play people at certain ratings. And I just feel like the pool of players is a lot lower on Revolution Classic. While in my opinion, I feel that there's a lot more activity on Revolution. And I might just give an answer for that aspect. So the first thing I see that is just different purely UI is about the LFG uh, system. I feel like the LFG system on uh, Wrath of the Lich King is just not complete. I feel like it should be nice to see the actual like spec or at least the dominant spec that someone is playing except heal or DPS. I want to also see which spec he plays because it's easier to make comps but also easier to communicate. I don't need to uh, whisper him, are you disc or are you shadow or are you... Because some people have it uh, toggled on healer while they are playing DPS and vice versa. They are playing like they are toggled on DPS but they might play healer, you know? Um, you also don't see the rating on Wrath of the Lich King. You do see on Dragonflight or Retail uh, the rating in twos. For example, you're looking for twos. It's written 1600 or 1700 in twos. And you know, okay, look, I'm like 1600. The probability that he wants to play with me is a lot higher than, let's say, a uh, LFG uh, system on Wrath of the Lich King where you don't even know the rating until you actually whisper them. And the problem is sometimes they don't answer or sometimes they are doing like some high class shit like asking you the CR first and then not responding whenever you have responded to that question. Or just in general, it's very hard to actually find people. And that's the second point as well. Just with this screen, you see that there is a lot of multiple servers. So it, it is inter server gameplay so you can actually find people on let's say um, Terran Mill while you are playing Archimonde Fr France for example or Draenor or Silver Moon so you have a lot more accessibility to actually play with people so you have a lot more people to choose from but also a lot more people to test to play with um, same for 3v3 same for 2v2 and they have rbgs but that you don't have it in wrath of the lich king and that's a big difference because being able to only play with your server and your own faction just limits the amount of activity you can have in pvp if you if i'm a hunter i'm looking for 2v2 I'm like really searching 20 minutes in the, the, the LFG section to just find a partner to play with. And then you lose one game and that partner just leaves and you are back to 20 minutes searching for people. And I know that people complain the same about retail, but let's face it, it doesn't happen as often as you would think. It doesn't happen that you are looking 20 minutes for a partner, uh, especially if you're playing double DPS. Of course, if you're looking for a healer, that might be more rare, but that's because healers are just a more rare spec. But that just also applies for Wrath of Lich King. If you want to play with a healer, you might just have a tough competition because uh, healers are instantly whispered, instantly invited, and they have the choices to actually play with whatever they want. So basically in Wrath of Lich King, if you're a healer, you're kind of the king and beggars can't be choosers and often you will have to play double DPS if you are a DPS. 
and even whenever it isn't really the most meta thing to do. Uh, playing as a hunter with double TPS is not as fun as let's say a warlock like destruction warlock can have with a double TPS because they have instant CC, a lot of options, a tankiness and they can do some big burst moments at just two or three spells while for example a hunter is more about uh, dampening but also just the freezing trap and just in general trying to get the kill over time you don't really win a game in two seconds as a hunter or you will probably lose a game in two seconds if you're playing double dps so that's that's more my take about why it is at the moment on rival looking a bit tough to find people i don't know if you guys have noticed but in general if you want to do pvp it is also more um hard, i would say it's harder to to get in because you do need a lot of gear and people like are entitled are feeling entitled to play only with people who are very good geared and again you can choose whatever with whoever you're playing and true if you are fully geared like to eye level 213 or i level uh the best eye level possible in next ramas i would say or even in um in PV pvp with deadly you don't really want to play with a savage geared player but again it's very hard to get gear without playing and you need to have uh, games to actually improve that gear. And so it's a, vi a vicious circle where you don't really have the opportunity to grow in Wrath of the Lich King, except if you have friends. Like for me, I'm very lucky and very fortunate to actually play with my friends whenever I'm playing PvP. So I don't really need to, fi to, to find strangers or to find new friends on arenas or whatever just to PvP. But... Whenever we have to do 5v5 and we have to invite a fifth random, that random is often just super entitled for a lot of stuff. And then you, you, you're like telling yourself, like, why am I inflicting myself by finding a random that is actually super entitled to a lot of things? And while you could maybe just play 3v3 and then maybe drop one friend and then you play later something else like 2v2 or 3v3. And that's the problem with uh, Wrath of Lich King, in my opinion. How can you fix it? It is because... It is only on your realm and only with your faction that it becomes very hard. But if you're open to every faction, I know it's not really classic. I know hashtag no changes. I was that like this too. But I feel like if you want to have good gameplay, because Wrath of Lichine has great gameplay. I think that's a positive contrary to retail. I think... P uh, gameplay wise wrath of the lich king is a lot more easy access you don't need to find uh, all the cc possible you don't need to see uh, what's the effect of every spell you have a lot less uh, effects on your screen it's more readable but i think the ui and the easy access to finding mates is a lot harder on classic than on retail and that's why i think retail is just more popular in pvp in general because you have a ladder you have easy access also with armory you have a lot more apis so that you have a lot more websites that actually tells you uh, what's the history of, of that player or uh what are the achievements or whatever so you have a lot more information but in classic the information is so little that you will have to communicate with people and some people can just be assets right so they, they can be very very annoying or they can be very very uh, anti-social or they are just like Bear, like insulting you at the at the first random thing you're doing right and that's that's a shame and i would like them to change that it's quite easy to, to be honest because they have the technology now to be able to have cross faction so you could play with any faction in lfg for pvp so if you're not queuing for arenas you cannot play with said faction and for pve i can understand really because to be honest um i they, they have to keep something from classic but i would think pvp if you're queuing for arenas i think it's it could be possible to play with other factions but if it's not a, if it's not the case if it's not the, the that's not the main thing that i would like to have i would like to have cross server so you could play with a french guy if you want to play uh, with a dutch guy uh with a uh, with a german guy if you want to play with a uh, I don't know with a Russian guy or whatever you can do that if you want to play with a Firema player and you're from Earthshaker and it is possible you will have a bigger pool of player you will, players you will have probably bad experiences but also good experiences in general it will feel better and I feel like in general it is possible with BGs, it is possible with Wintergrasp, why not make it possible for, let's say, arenas? And I think 
Wrath of the Lich King would be better, at least the experience of Wrath of the Lich King PvP would be better if the amounts of players available to play with said uh, PvP is larger. So I would suggest cross servers, cross faction, and I would just suggest to make the LFG I the LFG UI just this. To be honest, this is really a good UI. I, I know it's retail, I know people like to clash retail, clash blizzard. And I know at the moment you see only a few groups because it's noon, literally, and um, there's not a lot, of, a lot of players playing, and in it's end of the season, so there is no incentive to play since there is just solo shuffle. People play solo shuffle; it's only it pops every three four minutes, so that's perfect. But people don't play a lot of two v two or three v three because there is no real incentive. But the UI is fantastic. You know the class. Just by seeing the icon, you know if it's a DPS or a, or a healer by just hovering up and you see Rogue Assassination or you see, for example, Shaman Restoration. You see what they are looking for in big. So you see 1.4 Resto Shaman, 2.2 XP, looking for DPS X speed, whatever. They wrote that. But that's actually easy access, easy for the eye, easy for everything. And I feel like... It's just fun. It's just better to, to have that kind of UI. And I think if Dragonflight or Retail has really something over RAF, it is purely the UI. I'm, I'm not talking about the targeting, about the buffs, where they are in the, 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 the minimap. I'm just talking about like player, player versus player tab. That's something great. What I do miss, for example, on... Um, on Dragonflight and why it's better on RAF it is actually choosing which BGs you want to play. Sometimes you just want to play for fun and you don't want to end up with a shitty BG you don't like. You want to do Warson Gulch, you just pop Warson Gulch. That's something fantastic and that could be something that would be interesting to have now on retail like for example a ban system where you ban a specific BG and you can just you are good to go. But the UI for searching mates is really terrible on RAF, and it just is more terrible because of the availability of players, but also the elitism of some players. The min-max mentality is even worse on Classic than on Retail, and I think people might bash this video, but that's the truth. I think how many times do they ask specific items, specific uh eye level to just participate while on in retail people ask for your rating more often than your eye level and of course you have if you have a choice between a 290 eye level and a 280 eye level from the same class and the same rating they are going to take the most eye level player but i think you have more of a chance to find someone to play with on retail than on raf if you don't have friends if you have friends it's easy. Uh, if I, I have a friend connected and I want to do twos, even though that comp sucks, we do play twos together and we win or you lose, we don't care. We just grind. We just get the, the cap, we get the amount of arena points and we try to get better gear. But in retail, it's a lot easier to play with randoms, in my opinion. But let me know in the comment section below what you think about that video, about what I said. Uh, are you actually agreeing or not? Because I think it's a hot take. I think people might say that's a bad take, but I play both. I love classic to the death. I love actually retail to the death too. Like I think Dragonflight is probably one of the best expansions that will probably come live 10.0 directly. You will not have silly grinds or you will not have uh, silly things to do to actually enjoy the game you will have you can actually enjoy the game from the get-go and if you don't enjoy the game then that's 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 you and you can you can do whatever you want but the game will be pristine like it will be new it will be fresh it will be uh grindable for pvp and for pve you don't need to do silly things to actually have power and i think that's the thing that rotted shadowlands in the season one and a bit of the beginning of season two and then you had better with season two season three season four but the, the damage has already been done with legendaries covenants and whatever and now you will have a more pristine game where you, your gameplay your gear will come 
from PvP. It will be easily grinded. I think uh, people will be stacked from the get-go uh, easily with professions with world PvP gear, with uh, PvP gear like PGs or even conquest gear. And then you will grind arenas and then you will just play for fun or for improvement, but you will probably less play for gear. Although that's still a possibility, for example, you want a conquest gear for looks or whatever, that's good for you. But I mean, there is a possibility where you can improve yourself just by playing. And I think that's something that Shadowlands lacked in the beginning of the season one and season two, and people just left. Well, because season one, the participation was super high, like people were playing a lot of PvP, even people people that were just PvEers played PvP for the gear. And that was actually alright, because I, I think it's alright to have needs to go for PvE to get some gear if you want to improve on certain aspects, like for example stats that you would like to have on your character, and vice versa for PvP. Uh, what I think people didn't like is having to have a covenant, having to wait two weeks to switch covenants, uh, having to level that covenant, having to find the conduits, uh, soul binds, um, having to farm the legendary in Torgas, where it was uh, limited to one time per week. Uh, I mean, uh, you, you could you could only grind a certain amount of points per week, and, um, and that's why for me, I think Dragonflight will be immense, and um, there is no real reason to now hate uh, retail, right? So thank you for watching this video, I really appreciate you. Again, subscribe to the channel if you love PvP content, about discussion videos, about class guides, tips and tricks, uh, gameplay videos, everything, and you are here at home. Thank you for watching, have a great day, and we will be sure to stay safe. We will catch each other with a new video. Have a great day. Bye.